YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back to My House Fun for Once. Today's video comes with a special request from Ludwig. Ludwig commented and said, I would like the following, ma'am. And the first idea was one spa day for Genius. Winnie the Ca Sorry. Connor, we gotta start over. I'm actually filming. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are giving our cow here at Elvea Sanctuary a spa day. However, let the record show that Ludwig stole these ideas from Cutie Cinderella because I have in our text messages from June 11th at 4.20 a.m. Cutie texted me, can you give Winnie a spa day or the bunnies a tea party? Can you make the chickens protest Chick-fil-A for not eating chickens but for being homophobic? Throw the goats a wedding and make the goat wedding cake and put too many goats on top. Cutie texted me that at 4.20 in the morning last month and then Ludwig took the ideas and commented them on my YouTube video. So they're not Ludwig's ideas. They're Cutie Cinderella's ideas. I'm doing it for Cutie Cinderella. We're putting Ludwig in the title because because you know how it is. Let's give the cow a spa day, shall we? Okay, we just got to Target. We're going to Target and we're gonna get some spa stuff for Winnie. I, she doesn't really like water. So like, I don't, know, I don't know what we're gonna get, but we're gonna look. There's a lot of people here because it's after work hours. It's really crowded and everyone's gonna be looking at us. This is all Ludwig's fault. You wanna see me jump over that ball? Good luck. What do you mean good luck? You don't think I can do that? It's taller than you are. No, it's not. I jumped over it. Okay, you can't, you, you have to, you have to, I don't know, I'm uncomfortable. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's just, we're just out in the open. We're like really out in the open. Oh yeah, lift the camera. Yeah, make it more obvious. I care. I think this would be where spa things are, I don't know. Flip, I'm so serious, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I found spa things. This is number one. I actually think she's gonna like this. Winnie loves being brushed, and so we're gonna get her this brush. Wait, it's not very coarse, actually. Maybe she would prefer, ooh. I think she would prefer this one. We're getting her this brush. This one's too soft. She's a cow. You really gotta get in there. Does she need flip flops? No, she can't wear flip flops. She's a cow, idiot. Oh, we also need coconut oil, because I'm gonna put coconut oil on her hooves. Duh. There are people over there. I think we have to go where the people are. I wanna be where the people are. Except I don't, cause I'm embarrassed. Should I get her bath and shower gloves? She has gloves, she can't wear gloves, duh. No, I wonder if she would let me use one of these to like clean her eyes. I don't know, she might hate it. We'll find out. Okay, coconut oil. Oh, oh, <laughs> would you look at that? This is going on her hooves, it's gonna make her hooves really shiny and beautiful and she's gonna love it. I just realized she's never looked at herself. She needs to look at how beautiful she is after her spa day, right? You didn't film my checkout because I don't want you guys to steal my credit card information, but I have the goods. Should we do a little spin? A new tradition? Oh. You wanna see me jump over that ball? No, I don't even know what you mean by that. Like two foot jump over it? I can't do that. That's what I said. Ugh, I hate her. Guys, surprise, this video is sponsored by Patio Well. Patio Well sent me a whole shed. They sent me a 10 by 10 shed. It's waterproof, it's high capacity, it's easy to install. And now I have a shed for my chicken coop, the fluffy butt hut, those are my chickens. And so I keep all my supplies in here. Patio Well is a great choice for anyone who's looking to, for anyone who's looking for a sturdy and secure outdoor storage solution. Patio Well is for individuals who want to spend less time installing and create more spaces. Patio Well cares about the products and materials they have, how it impacts their customers, how it impacts the environment. And they have a full range of models. If you guys want to check out the models, you can use code MAYA15OFF for 15% off on their website. So yeah, thank you Patio Well for sending me this whole shed. It's going to good use. I'm very excited about it and thank you for sponsoring this video and you can check it out in the description and I'll let you get back to it everybody this is Winnie Winnie is our red Angus cow at Alveus I picked her up off of a cattle operation in Oklahoma over a year ago her, her first birthday was March 22nd so she's just over a year old and she was bred to be a beef cow so now that she's over a year old she is past the point where she would have been slaughtered for beef but now she's here forever. And now she gets a spa day. Are you excited? Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, pandemonium. Please don't ruin this for everyone. This is not about you. This is my horse ace. Oh my God, the chicken's getting in the spa ingredients. Please, Stompy, it's not for you. All right, let's see what we can do. Hello, chicken. 
what should we start with? I would like to start with the, no, please, it's not about you. I would like to start with this brush because I think that she will like the brush a lot. Look, it's a brush. Okay. Asaro, you have to go. It is not for you, it's for Winnie. Look at how nice, oh my gosh, spa day. Winnie, it's brush time, you have to go. Winnie, brush. She doesn't care. Is it nice? Oh, she likes a brush. <laughs> You know how I said in the store that this brush was too soft? It's because it is. I don't think she really feels this. Like it's so luxurious and soft. She needs something a little more rough. This is a cow, okay? She means business when it comes to her scratches. Yay, brushes. Brushes for baby cow. <laughs> Yay, spa day. Should I try these stupid gloves? Now that I tried that that brush and like it did nothing for her, I'm positive that these aren't gonna do anything for her. This is not about you. They're connected to each other. No stompy knife, that is a knife. Oh my gosh, she has no sense of self-preservation. These are avocado oil infused shower gloves. Please, you want the label? Look here, it's not your spa day. She just littered. Oh, bad chicken. Ew, these feel weird. I don't like the texture. Winnie, I have some spa gloves for you. She doesn't care. She's just eating. Ew, I don't like the way they feel. I don't like it. Look, these are gloves. I'm just gonna pet you with them, okay? Is this nice? I have to clean your hooves also. Ow! <laughs> Is it nice or do you hate it? She doesn't care. She's too sturdy for these gloves. This is stupid. This was a stupid idea, Ludwig. You know one of the, you know Winnie's biggest red flag is how much methane she produces <laughs> because she has this big ruminant. Cows have four stomachs, y'all know that. The biggest one, the biggest stomach that they have is the rumen. And so she spends all day eating like this. She loves eating. And then the food goes into a rumen and the microbes that digest the food, they produce methane gas, which is a greenhouse gas, which means it goes into our atmosphere and it traps the sun's heat, right? So cows produce millions of tons of methane a year. Um, because we have so many. And that's part of why global warming's happening. We have way too many beef cows. We have way too many cows in agriculture and that's because the demand is so high. So we gotta eat less cows. We gotta eat less Winnie. These gloves are a one out of 10. They suck, she doesn't care. I hate the way they feel on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush to clean her feet. I'm gonna clean her feet and then we're gonna put coconut oil on them and make them really shiny and beautiful. Clean. The stuff that I always recommend to people when we talk about cows Hello, Stompy. When we talk about the beef industry is one, like I'm not gonna tell you to be vegan or vegetarian, right? We just need to eat less of it because we are farming beef at a completely unsustainable rate. The impact that the beef industry has on our planet is irreversible and super problematic. It's just, we, ow, okay, dude. We just consume way too much beef and it's not sustainable for our planet. So you should try meat alternatives. They're not necessarily better for you. They're better for the environment than beef, but they have about the same amount of emissions as the poultry industry. So also chicken's a better alternative than beef, if I'm being honest, if you're gonna eat meat or animal protein. But it's still cool to show producers that there's a market for alternatives to animal protein. So like eating meat alternatives is cool. Trying a vegan or vegetarian meal once in a while is cool. Not wasting food is cool. If you imagine Winnie too, like we love Winnie, right? We all love her at Alveus. When you imagine her as a burger on somebody's plate and they eat like half of it and throw the rest, throw the rest away, that's super sad. So we don't wanna waste food, especially animal products, cause that's messed up. Clean, clean. Look, it's gonna make them look so pretty. Winnie, happy spa day. Ooh, wow. No, don't leave. Wow, so shiny and beautiful and amazing. Look at that difference. Look at that shine, Winnie. You're a star. Eh. Please don't step on me. It's fine, she's only like 700 pounds. It probably wouldn't hurt. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Okay, wicked. Winnie, you look beautiful. Do you feel beautiful? Look at the baby cow. She used to be so small, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. That is adorable. We bottle fed her when we got her because her mom couldn't nurse her and cattle ranchers don't like having to nurse babies because it's a ton of work and you have to do it like three times a day. That's how we got her. Cause they're like, if you want to do it, you can take her. So we did. Oh God, look out. <laughs> Why do you have to lick my face every time? <laughs> She likes it. Winnie, you're not understanding that this is your spa day. Can I get this wet and clean around your eyeballs? Look, spa day. Oh, so nice. 
Wow, your eyes are so clean and beautiful. Let me clean your nose. Come here. Oh, she hated it. Let me clean your nose. She's pissed. Let me clean your ears. No, Winnie. <laughs> Let's just give her more brushing. That's all she wants. All she wants is to be brushed. Are you itchy here? Itchy. Itchy baby cow. Happy spa day. Oh my God, her head's really heavy. <laughs> Yay! Eat less cows. It's bad for our planet, it's bad for the cows. Scratch more cows, give them more spa days. Sorry my horse is just ruining every shot. Hey, this is not about you, leave her alone. Hey, don't nip her, go away. It's her spa day. I'm sorry that he did that to you. Sarah, oh my God. Hello baby cow, oh. Thank you. That was nice. Red Angus cows, you know, you see like black Angus or Angus beef at the store. It's the same thing. It's Angus beef. Yes, more. An important part of spa day is staying hydrated. Reminder to drink water. Winnie, Winnie, Winnie the Moo. Come here. Come here, let me brush you. Nice baby cow. Spa day is just brushing. No, actually her hooves look really nice, admit it. She looks clean and beautiful. Wonderful, amazing baby cow. Winnie, I'm now I'm going to use the fancy thing, okay? I think you'll like it if you just give it a chance. Do you think she likes it? <laughs> it also said to use on the arms and legs. Yes, mom. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Ew. She hates it. Wait, let me use it on your arms and legs. Here's her arm. <laughs> Is it nice? Oh. Oh, she's dripping water. Ew, 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 it's my hair. Gross. <laughs> Winnie, your arms are gonna be so defined. Here's the thing, guys. I would do a whole spa day with like water, but she doesn't like water. I'll try. It's spa day time, come here. This is water for you. Wait. She's letting me do it? Wait, she looks pretty. Oh, look at the beautiful cow. So nice. Winnie's first loofah. You look beautiful. I should've got you a little bow. So I could braid your hair. She hates that idea. Winnie looks beautiful and her hooves are beautiful and she was brushed and now she looks like an entirely different woman. Okay, look, spa day for people, like face masks and bath bombs, whatever. Like I don't trust any of those things to be safe for her. So there's not much I can do besides like coconut oil and water. <laughs> this is a mirror with three times magnification. We'll show her herself. She's never seen herself. Stompy's also never seen himself. Here you go, this is you. Winnie, what do you think? You look beautiful, wow. Amazing. She's so humble. Stompy, you bite me again. Look, here you are. Oh, he's a little confused, I think. Do you not like it? Does it stress you out? What do you think? He hates it. Is this a spa day you guys were expecting? Or are you disappointed? I did try. Okay, Winnie has some recommendations for you. If you're in the US and you're looking at beef labels in the grocery store, grocery store. One, the number one beef label, animal welfare approved by A Greener World. Look for that one. It guarantees outdoor pasture raising and they have welfare standards for breeding, transport and slaughter, which is very important. So look for that one first. Your second best choice is certified grass-fed 
by a greener world, number two. Number three, certified humane. Unfortunately, your, your grass-fed labels and your free-range labels don't really mean anything. I know it sounds like, oh, they're living on in a pasture, in grass, and they're out free and doing whatever they want. Uh, it doesn't mean those things. So you need to look for those three labels that I told you at the beginning. Like I said before, try meat alternatives, try vegan meals. <laughs> She's itchy. Vegan meals, vegetarian meals every once in a while. Eat less beef, waste less animal products. It's a big one. Yeah, we just eat less of it and think, think about Winnie and how she enjoyed her spa day. And we all gotta think about meat differently because we produce way too much of it. It's bad for our planet and it's bad for them. That's Winnie's recommendation to you. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Winnie says thank you. Go check out Alvea's Sanctuary. That's where Winnie lives. She's peeing and I'm downhill. Damn, it actually splashed me. I got splashed by cow pee. Thanks, Ludwig. Like and subscribe.